Whether you love a good conspiracy or just have a wild imagination, creating and discovering fan theories about your favorite movies and TV shows can lead you down some colorful rabbit holes to say the least. So let's look at seven of the craziest fan theories ever right here on Listed. We're breaking down seven of the craziest TV and movie fan theories, starting with the Grease fan theory that Sandy was actually dead the whole time. Remember how Danny sings about saving Sandy from drowning in the opening summer night song in Grease? Well, this fan theory suggests that Sandy actually did drown and the entire movie is just one long comatose fever dream Sandy has as she dies in Danny's arms. This one is tough to buy, but the fact that she and Danny fly away from everyone in a red convertible heading straight for heaven is one element backing this crazy theory up. Up next, it's the theory that Jack from Titanic is actually a time traveler from the future. Fans of this theory believe that Jack went back in time to stop Rose from committing suicide because if she'd gone through with it, the ship would have stopped and the time delay would have changed the course of the ship. The change in course could have prevented the Titanic from sinking and thus completely altered history. It sounds as crazy as crazy gets, but supporting this theory is Jack's more modern haircut and his mentions of man-made structures such as Lake Wissota and a roller coaster on the Santa Monica Pier that weren't built until years after the Titanic sank. Next up, some fans are completely convinced that the spinning top is not Leo's totem in Inception. Remember in Inception, Leo Leo's character had a totem that allowed him to determine if he was in the real or dreaming world. Well, some fans think that Leo's spinning top totem isn't his totem at all. It's actually his wedding ring. If you watch the scene where Leo is in the real world, he never has a wedding ring on. But in the scenes where he's dreaming, he's always wearing his wedding ring. And in the final scene of the film, Leo is reunited with his children and we are left hoping it's all real. But if you look at his ring finger and believe in this fan theory, you will sadly realize that it's just another dream. Up next, get ready to be convinced that Ferris Bueller is just a figment of BFF Cameron's imagination. This fan theory suggests that Ferris Bueller is a made up character in Cameron's head, a la Brad Pitt's character in the movie Fight Club. Believers of this theory think Cameron imagines his entire adventure-filled day with Ferris as he lies sick in bed and that Ferris's girlfriend Sloane is a girl Cameron has a crush on in real life. So basically, Ferris is Cameron's manifestation of an idealized version of himself who gets to have all the fun and date the girl of his dreams. And you thought your high school experience was weird. Next on our list is the ridiculous but kind of awesome theory that Breaking Bad is a prequel to The Walking Dead. Fans who subscribe to this theory have seen some references from Breaking Bad in The Walking Dead, such as Daryl having blue crystal meth in a baggie filled with various drugs in season two. And the fact that his brother Merle describes his former meth dealer as a janky little white guy who once threatened him with a gun and said, quote, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Yep, well, that definitely sounds like Jesse Pinkman to me. Next up, some fans of The Fresh Prince believe that Will was dead the whole time and that Bel Air is actually heaven. In the beginning of The Fresh Prince rap, Will describes a fight on the basketball court with a couple of guys in Philly. According to this fan theory, Will is actually killed in the fight and his taxi cab driver is God, who drives him to heaven. In heaven, aka Bel Air, Will works out his issues with his aunt and uncle who are also dead. He only sees his parents on a few occasions because those are the times they are visiting Will's grave. Yep, it's a theory that's almost as ridiculous as the Carlton. Almost. And last, but definitely the darkest theory on our list, some fans claim that Willy Wonka knew the children he invited to his factory would die because he plotted out the whole thing. This theory actually has some pretty solid physical evidence backing it up, and it goes like this. After greedy Augustus has sucked up the tube, the remaining kids and parents get on a boat with Willy Wonka that would have never been able to accommodate Augustus and his mother had he not fallen into the Chocolate River. And later in the film, the group gets into a different vehicle that has only four seats after more of the children have disappeared. So fans of this theory believe that Wonka not only knew kids would be lost in the factory tour, but that he planned it all out so that he could use them to make his candy. So there you have it. This film is even creepier than we already thought. All right, that concludes our list. And so now I want to know which crazy TV or movie fan theory completely blew your mind the most. And which ones are you kind of on board with? Sound off in the comments. And after that, you can click right over here to check out pop culture internet theories. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here on Listed. And be sure to subscribe. I'm your host, Sinead DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time.